Hello and welcome to the Thursday, January 19th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And thanks again for Google to make it really easy to find interesting new malware samples by basically just searching for legitimate software. Brad has written up in his usual very informative style a recent infection that used a fake ad for Notepad++. The attacker here misspelled the domain a little bit, Notopod. Plus, plus. So instead of a U here, an O to probably uh, pass some of the detections that people may have set up uh, for lookalike uh, domains. But in the end, uh, the victim ends up uh, downloading a malicious application from a lookalike website that will then, if installed, uh, provide the Aurora Stealer malware. The malware itself that the user downloaded from the website does trigger a generic warning uh, by Microsoft Defender Smart Screen, but really all it says is that it's an unrecognized app, so an unknown publisher, which someone who's pretty convinced that they just downloaded Notepad++ from a legitimate site will probably ignore just putting it off that, well, a uh, smart screen uh, didn't recognize that particular application. And Oracle did release its quarterly critical patch update or CPU as Oracle uh, calls it and it fixes uh, as typical for uh, this quality patch update about 300 plus vulnerabilities. Quite a number of critical vulnerabilities here in particular sort of a lot of 9.8 vulnerabilities. Many of these vulnerabilities are really just based on a couple different open source uh, packages that are being used uh, across uh, the Oracle uh, products. For example, Spring Security, that's actually an older uh, vulnerability. Uh, Log4j, also sort of a household name when it comes uh, to uh, vulnerabilities. Apache Commons Text, those are uh, kind of the big ones that I see repeated over and over across the different Oracle applications. So uh, these patches will provide updated versions or in some cases just updated configurations for uh, these particular third-party uh, products. No easy choice here. Uh, it's complicated to update a lot of these applications, but definitely something that you need to do. Uh, we have seen them uh, being exploited in the past. Uh, things uh, like uh, WebLogic and such, even inside Oracle's own cloud uh, like a few years back. So uh, patch or at the very least, don't expose these applications uh, to the outside. And uh, some controversy about a uh, bug slash vulnerability found by the Cisco Talus uh, team in Qt QML. Qt QML is a cross-platform development environment that uh, can be used to create applications using uh, JSON, somewhat popular, and uh, JavaScript that is supported uh, by Qt QML uh, can uh, be used to execute arbitrary uh, code. There's not enough detail here really to make up my own mind whether this is a bug as the Qt developer said or a vulnerability as Cisco Talus states. Regardless, there is a patch available update to Qt project Qt 6.3.2 and you should be good. And part of the debate here is really around the attack vector in order to get JavaScript to be executed. Well, uh, the developers of Qt QML say you should never really expose this to untrusted JavaScript, but uh, then of course it may be relatively easy for an attacker uh, to get a user to actually send uh, untrusted JavaScript to their application. And then we got an interesting vulnerability in sudo or better sudo edit, which is sort of part of sudo. Ever want to give users privileges to edit particular files? Well, that's what you can do with sudo edit. You basically can say certain users are able to edit certain files that are 
owned by a privileged user uh, like a uh, root and this way you don't have to give uh, these users unfettered uh, access uh, to uh, the root the problem here is that when you're calling sudo edit sudo edit needs an editor in order to actually edit the file and uh, sudo will read some environment variables that uh, the user may configure in order to find the editor so if a user is crafty and then instead of a normal editor, it just says, hey, you know, run this script. This is my editor. Well, that script may be executed with escalated privileges. And uh, that's sort of how a user could escalate privileges using sudo edit. If you're using sudo edit, definitely you want to update this. Uh, if not, then not too much really to worry about here. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and also thanks for subscribing to this podcast via your favorite podcast app. By the way, the stickers, uh, got a bunch of sticker orders that came in already. Uh, let me know if you are hitting the uh, quota exceeded message for today i may up that a little bit and the first set of stickers should be shipped this weekend thanks and talk to you again tomorrow bye